There are many people who died. Listen carefully. Many people who died simply because of the ill speaking of others. I think I was reading about a, a research that was done on patients. That there are patients who when they are sick and in bed, if their family members come to surround them, you know, and encourage them, there's a lot of laughter. That chances are excellent that they can even live longer, even survive that ground. Do you know why people die in the night? Because in the night, there's full of silence. Someone can be encouraging you by seven, eight, nine, and then by one, two, you only hear the voice of darkness and the devil comes through that darkness. You are still alive. Are you not surprised? Take your last breath and go. There are people who would have died since they refused. There's no way. They were sick and sick. They're, from a physical, they just said, no way. There are people today who certain negative things would have come upon them. They refused. They said in the name of Jesus, for as long as I am alive, I owe myself that responsibility. The rain that comes is the rain I create. And let me tell you the truth. If you are not creating it, someone can help you. And I pray that it's not a negative climate they create for you. Give us Ephesians 5 now. You will understand. He told you that when you are full of the Holy Ghost, there are three things that the Holy Ghost will make you say. Speaking to yourselves in number one, Psalms. Most of you do not know the power of Psalms. You see, these Psalms you see, is a mystery that man called David Psalms he says when the Holy Ghost comes upon you how do you think David wrote Psalms by intelligence no the Holy Ghost came upon him and he found himself writing things the Lord is my light and my salvation of whom shall I be afraid of are we together now? The Lord is the strength of my life. What can man do to me? So that confession called Psalms was inspired by the Holy Ghost. And he said, you can verify the spirit that is influencing you by what you are saying. If the Holy Ghost comes upon you, you will find yourself speaking Psalms. Psalms. Number two, hymns. You see, eh? Do you know why these hymns don't die? There are many songs that are dead. They wrote them last year. They are dead by now before December. Because the depth in the spirit from which they were fetched, it was, it was not anything serious. Some of these hymns you will see 1890 something. Now of course there may be some scriptural errors because it was men that wrote it. But let me tell you the truth. Hymns, it does not just mean SS and S alone. It's a prophetic statement. These people that wrote hymns, you see, they were not just musicians. They were inspired of the Holy Ghost. Is someone hearing now? Showers of blessings. Showers of blessings we need. Mercy drop round are falling. But for the showers When you were growing up, you used to sing it. But now that you have become a matured African, you left what can lift you. I'm not just saying it must be chanting it, but most people do not know that they have been negative rainmakers to their lives because they have ignored the power of Psalms. Speaking to yourself, speaking in Psalms, speaking in hymns, speaking in spiritual songs. They are not just special numbers. You hear me say, You reign, you reign, hello, you reign, you reign, you reign, Adonai, you reign, yeah, na 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 na. What is that? Ask Sam who wrote the song that when it came to him, is that his language? 
Did you not hear the Bible says, though I speak with tongues of men and of angels, there are communications that do not belong to this realm, but are needed in this realm. Are we together now? Tongues is one of them. That when someone begins to pray, and you are now even praying in tongues, it does not make sense. But the Bible says you are reacting to the influence of the Spirit. And although men may not understand, there is a programming happening in the realm of the Spirit. Spiritual songs. Hallelujah. Listen, then the Bible says something very interesting. It's saying making melody in your heart. In your heart? How do you do that? Your heart has a voice. Is that true? She said to herself, if I may but touch the hem of his garment, Say not to yourself, who shall ascend? Listen, let me tell you this. These are simple but profound mysteries. Paul would not gather in front of God's people and be wasting their time teaching them jargons. These were the ladders that he followed himself to ascend these realms of strange power. Speaking to yourself in Psalms. Psalms means Psalms. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the power of the except the Lord builds a house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord watches over the city, they watch it in vain. When the Lord turn again the captivity of Zion. Hold on. That means at any point in your life, you begin to sense, you know how people sorry for the use of words you know how people throw up something within is what causes it isn't it you start feeling you want to throw up that is how it is in the spirit Shall flow rivers, rivers of living water. 